up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. This is a bag of products from the Hong Kong and Taiwan pop-ups that recently happened. Uh, luckily, I have purchased most of the items from those pop-ups, which I should not be happy to say because that's a lot of product. By the way, if you hear little noises in the background, that's because my cat is hanging out in here with me, so she decided to keep me company while I'm recording. But that's fine, because she's adorable. So I did want to say huge props and thank you to my proxy buyers who purchased these items from the pop-up shops for me. Uh, if I can remember who sent these to me, because it was a few months ago, I'll put their links down below so you can find their Instagram shops, etc, etc. Uh, but if not, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you and you're amazing for getting these products to me so ah, I'm so excited these are very random I just threw everything into the same box so I don't exactly remember which ones came from Hong Kong and which ones came from Taiwan so I can't necessarily tell you the prices however if I do find the prices I'll put those down below in the description you can still get lucky though and find these because the pop-ups do recycle their merchandise and they do repeat the same merchandise over and over again at each of the pop-up shops that they open and I've also seen these pretty frequently on different um, websites for resellers so sometimes you can find these via resellers online if you're lucky let's go ahead and start with this travel neck pillow so you probably remember that I reviewed a neck pillow recently on this channel actually two I think I did one like you covered up with a hood and the problem with those is they weren't memory foam and one of them was kind of itchy so they weren't my favorite uh, this one I saw Ochiba Wolf review a little while back on her YouTube channel and I was like oh it's memory foam so I really like memory foam neck pillows so I really wanted to get one so when I saw it was available again through one of the um, Asian pop-up shops I was like I have to get that it's mine so I decided to purchase it I, as you can tell I really like memory foam I just keep on squishing it it's just it's comfy I like it so this one has a button at the so this one has a button at the front uh, so that you can unbutton it or you can hook it around your neck so that it doesn't slide off of your neck while you're trying to sleep I will probably bring this with me because I'm taking a trip to London in uh, about a month and a half so I'm pretty stoked about that I'm totally gonna wear this while I'm sleeping on the plane that's gonna be great it also has a little loop at the top with a button so you can totally fasten this onto your luggage which is great because I used to have a little travel pillow that I almost lost at a I think it was like a New Zealand checkpoint or something because it fell off my luggage and I almost did not find it uh, this one also has a zipper. Looks like you can take this off and wash it if you want to. I would suggest probably hand washing so it doesn't make the colors run or anything. Uh, but it does have a really nice silky texture to it. And if you do end up like sweating on it or something like that, it does appear that you can remove it and wash it if you like, which is also very nice. This is really pretty. I like the colors and I love that it's memory foam. So definitely going to use this one. Okay, this item is a series of makeup brushes which kind of fell out of their packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and take them out and show you. But this is by a company called Beauty Tools Sailor Moon Makeup by Piggy. Oh, it's the same company that made the little silicone makeup applicators that I've also shown off. So this includes a, oh, they're written in English. That's nice. There's a powder brush, a br blush brush, a shading bl brush. Oh my God. <laughs> a concealer brush, eyeshadow brush, eyeshadow, and eyeshadow. Okay, so there's three eyeshadow brushes, a concealer, powder, blush, and shading brush. There's quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different brushes come with this. I thought I was just purchasing the brushes when I got this, but it also came with a really cute makeup bag. And this has a silhouette of Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal sitting on the crescent moon and a bunch of sparkly stars in the background, which is so cool. I love this. It's so pretty and iridescent and ooh, it's shiny and sparkly. Oh, that's a cute little charm too. On the zipper, you get a little charm that has a couple of stars and some cute little fake pearls. Adorable. It smells like cheap plastic inside of this, I will be honest though. I mean, it's a really cute makeup bag, but you put you put your brushes in here and they're going to smell like they're going to smell like cheap plastic. Whew. Whew. Okay. I need to air this thing out before I put anything near it. Don't go near this, okay, kitty? 
I, it's pretty, but don't go near it. She's like staring at the reflections and chirping at them. Does your cat chirp? My cat chirps. Okay, so there's a little direction piece of paper in there too that tells you what each of the brushes are, which is useful because I'm not a makeup guru, so I would not know. It says how to use makeup brush. I'm gonna have to translate that because most of it is in Chinese, I'm guessing. Beauty Tools Sailor Moon Makeup Brush from Piggy. The real reason I got these though, I don't even know if these are like real hair or fake hair. Hopefully they're fake hair. <laughs> but the real reason I got these is because there's sparkles inside of these makeup brushes and they say Sailor Moon Crystal on them. And they're a really pretty like rose gold slash almost two gold thing. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So you get all seven of them. They all match. They have really pretty like light pink tips at the top of the brush, which is awesome. And they're also really nicely configured. So they're really easy to hold, nicely balanced, I would say. So it won't be hard to do makeup with these. I think they're gorgeous. Hopefully they hold up over time because I do like wash my makeup brushes quite often with uh, makeup brush soap, I guess you would say. You can totally tell I'm not a beauty guru, but they're so pretty. These are really beautiful. I'm gonna keep these away from my cats because they like to eat these. I think they think that they are little animals that they can eat. So they always steal these makeup brushes and they run away with them under like the drawers of my cabinet. So I will have to protect these with my life because they're beautiful. They're so pretty. Okay, I am to totally digging the sparkles in inside these makeup brushes. They're really cool. Oh, you probably want to know like which brush is what. So the biggest one is the powder brush, the big one. The second to biggest is the blush brush. That's kind of easy because it's kind of slanted. The shading brush is the largest of the smaller ones. The concealer brush is a flat, flat one that has a rounded tip at the top. I'll try to get a close-up of that one. Then we have the eyeshadow brush, which has a softer head to it, but it's also rounded. After that is another, oh, the last two are also eyeshadow brushes. So we have the sl slanted one that has the harder uh, hairs, and then one that has a little bit tougher hairs, but is very, very small. So easy to shape with your eyeshadow. Cool. All right, as if I know what I'm doing. Okay, so moving on, like I mentioned, I did not get much from these collaborations because I've definitely like gone ham on previous pop-ups. So I also got, sorry for the noise, sorry for the noise. I also got this passport holder, which features Neo Queen Serenity on it. And it has this really pretty pink and purple background behind her. This print goes all the way around too. So if you open it up flat, you can see the entire print, which is gorgeous. And the inside of it is a light pink. There's plenty of room for your passport as well as some smaller ID cards or money or receipts or whatever you might carry in your passport holder. The black outline, is kind of textured, like you can feel the black outline in the picture, uh, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that was done on purpose or if that was just a flaw in the print in how it came out, but it feels kind of cool. Like it, it feels like it's nice and durable, so I'm not sure if the paint will rub off over time after using it quite a bit and traveling, or if this is something that will actually last. So we shall see. <gasps> I'm so excited about this thing. Okay, this is so stupid, but I love it. All right, this is just a headband. I can wear this when I'm washing my face. Ah, it's adorable. Uh, this one is purple and it features the signs as well as the bows, the fuku bows for the inner Sailor Senshi. And it has this navy blue bow at the front and it says Sailor Moon Crystal in embroidery on it. I hope it fits my head. This thing I find sometimes these little headbands don't fit my head, which is not the funnest thing in the world. It fits. Yes, it fits, yes. I've been looking for one of these for a while and this one is adorable, so I had to get it. I also got a couple of canvas bags because I use them all the time to go shopping. This is the first one I got. It features the outer Sailor Senshi because you rarely see things of just the outer Sailor Senshi. I thought that was pretty dope, so I decided to get it. It's awesome. It's just one side for the print. It's not on the back and it's a very simple canvas bag. There is Velcro at the top to close it, but otherwise good for uh, groceries and things like that. This is a much larger canvas bag and it's black and it looks like they just print screened this photo on the top of it and it's an entire square photo of Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal, but that's the famous piece of art that everybody sees. Uh, really pretty though and a much bigger canvas bag. 
wonder if this one, oh yeah, it has Velcro too. So other than having the Velcro at the top, not, not much to say about this canvas bag either, other than um, great for the farmer's market. I guess. Yes, I have been waiting for a company to come out with these because I have been wanting these so bad and I wanted to get licensed ones. I didn't want to get bootlegs. These are mouse pads. They're really big mouse pads. I do a lot of gaming and I have a large keyboard and I like to have plenty of room for my mouse when I'm editing. So I like big mouse pads. This is the first big mouse pad I got. It features a silhouette of the kitties the Fukubo, says Sailor Moon Crystal, pretty lacy art. And it also has a silhouette of Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon Crystal. Simple, pretty, adorable, will totally match my new Sailor Moon PC. Also, if you didn't see my Sailor Moon PC, it's pretty amazing and I highly recommend that you watch that video because it came out so good. Thank you, Nvidia. Oh my God, you're so cute. I have to take a picture and show you right now because my cat is being really adorable. You fit perfectly in that box. Are you ready to get shipped to Colorado? Are you ready to move? Oh, are you ready to go? Good girl. Okay, this is the second mouse pad I got. It features chibi versions of the Sailor Senshi. All the inner Sailor Senshi. If they also had an outer Sailor Senshi mouse pad, I would have bought that one too, because I do intend to have two different computer desks when I move into my house in Colorado, because I will have my editing PC, and then I want to have like a streaming slash gaming PC set up. But this is my second mouse pad. It is adorable. It smells like a mouse pad. The rubber on the back of it smells like rubber mouse pads. It's beautiful though. I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. I want to wrap myself in it and live this way forever. Would my husband judge me? Hopefully not. This is amazing. I love it. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, that's all I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these different items from the pop-up shops in Hong Kong and Taiwan. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely comment below. Tell me what your favorite item was, and I would love to see you back here to watch more of my videos because they're super fun to make. Subscribe, like this video if you liked it, and ask me any questions if you have them. I will see you next time. Thank you so much to my Sailor Senshi for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs. Johnny.